The new sports bra technology revolutionizing comfort and fit for your workout. ABC's Becky Burley has the science behind it. Back pain, aching shoulders, chafed skin, sore breasts. 40 years ago, the jog bra came on the scene. Now new technology using biomechanics to beat the bounce with fashionable flair. We were looking at the vertical motion, the side to side, and the in and out motion. At the Brooks Running Lab in Seattle, biomechanists are using motion capture technology to test bras. I'm going to step up, please, on the treadmill. To show the difference an engineered bra can make, we start Jordan in a strappy bra I purchased, not a Brooks bra. Let's feel a little disconnected. Stacy Steffen collects data. The biomechanist is using these markers on Jordan's shoulders and hips as a baseline. The excess movement Jordan experiencing in this bra is then quantified. When Jordan changes into an engineered bra, the movement goes way down. The bounce is very minimal compared to her baseline trial. When running, breasts move in a figure eight. So Brooks is using fabric that isolates movement in specific areas, not just pressing everything closer to the chest. And that's where these images and data come in. We want to make sure that we stop it happening all around. The ultimate goal, limit motion and pain without, how to say this, smashing your girls. I feel supported. I feel like it's a bra I can take to yoga class. I can take it running. I can do anything. Crunching the motion capture data, this bra reduces vertical motion by 66%. And that can make a big difference. Just ask another Brooks tester, Robin, an avid runner and a 34F. If you are wearing a bra that's not supporting you, what does it feel like during or after the run? It hurts. As more of us get active, bra companies are taking note. This zip-up from Victoria's Secret, Nike has running bras up to 40E, and Title IX, a company founded on athletic bras, has a slew of models, including one they call the last resort bra. And as for that old jog bra, you know the one. This bra that I brought with me is quite possibly 15 years old. Mm -hmm. I still wear this. <laughs> we get this a lot. Experts say your bras should be replaced annually. The sports bra that you purchased a year ago may not be fitting you the same way as it once was. And I'm with Becky, and you know you've got those old <laughs> sports bras too. We're all guilty of it. Okay, we could talk about the signs, blah, blah, blah. Just tell us in the dressing room some tips so we know we're getting the right fit. Number one, look in the mirror. It should not look like this. <laughs> it's two separate pieces. Oh. You can lift and separate now. We have the technology. See that? Yeah, okay. So Separate I cups. I, yeah, because a lot of them, it is yeah. just no, like that. Number two, strappy bras are really in, right? But the straps should never hurt your shoulders. Mm. When you try on a jog bra, you want to treat it like trying on a pair of shoes. You want to jump around. Mm -hmm. You want to run around the store. If you get red marks, no go. Okay. Also, 80% of the support comes from the strap. So when you try it on and you want a lot of support, you shouldn't have more than three fingers under there. Three fingers. I like these are good tips. Any, yep. Any, any more? Yeah, no, that, that, that's that's I, I am taking care of you. You wow. are going to get a great jog, brother, next time you shop for <laughs> okay. Robin.